Take it easy, Tack. I'm sorry. I don't speak Japanese. The object in your hand? It's gonna bring you nothing but pain. Believe me, I know. I am an envoy of the Emperor himself. I am no traitor! Close. Yes, a little too close. We must go now. Hey guys, it's me Lieutenant Bullfrog and we are back with Call of Duty Black Ops 3 but today is a special Once day because it is the release of Zetsubo no Shima on the PlayStation 4. So this only came out today and I thought, you know what, I've had a couple of rounds where I've practiced, uh, got to know where everything is so that it won't be look really noobish when I actually upload this video. So awesomely, we've uh, been able to get this as soon as it came out because I bought the season pass a couple of months ago. So. Pretty much these are going to be half an hour videos each of my experiencing the game and see how far we can actually get to. So it's going to be very chill, casual, so if I was you I would just chill back, relax, do some homework if you, you're in school, if you're in college, do some assignments. If you're in sixth form you better study hard because those exams are coming up. And uh, just chill out, have a fun time and let's, uh, let's enjoy this proper crisp HD quality that the PlayStation 4 is offering. So we've just literally annihilated all of the zombies in my intro, so that was pretty good. So what I know, we have to wait for the plane to come across, it's going to drop us our pack punch, I mean our quick revive, so as you can see it's going to drop us the quick revive, as you can see that's pretty awesome. Yeah, grab our 100 points, which was something that was in um, World at War, which they're allowing in this game for some reason, so we grabbed our 100 points. Let's just knife these guys, get out of here. Knifing's really easy on this game because you can do it really quick. If you put hold backwards and go like that, you do it really quick. But if you just go like that once, oh, well, I obviously did it once. You actually dig into them, which is a delayed time for it to. I mean, knife really quickly, just pull back and you stab. All right, so we got three seeds right now. Oh, I forgot to get the bucket. Now the bucket is essential on this game because you're gonna be what carrying a lot of for? water. Should Nikolai fill it with helping blood? Yes, you should, Nikolai. I don't know if you guys can hear Nikolai now, but he's pretty awesome. Oh, death machine. See, we're not going to take that because we need to stab. Awesome. So now we can go get our, second, our next weapon, which is this. Now, something we need to find out very quickly is we're going to uh, leave one zombie and then we need to get the skull, which is in the corner, which I'll show you in a second. Remember, these are popcorn symbols. So I remember it as 3, 2, 1. So we'll go find that skull. We can go get them. I feel like I'm doing like a playthrough, like, okay, like Easter egg steps, here we go, but I'm really not. I'm just trying to do this very casually. I'm trying to be chill. All right, so we got I three, two, one, right here. Land, what the hell? My aim is not on point today. I am not in the habit of picking up skulls, or indeed any What I'm saying is, if you get this game, these will annoy you. It will really annoy you, because they, um, they 
kind of transform all the zombies into the not all of them but most of them into this weird beast thing which is very annoying whether we like it or not okay whenever nikolai tries talking i try to um be quiet ah, shit, well, that's, um, uh, we so we are gonna do it you're gonna have to shoot everyone around here i've been watching quite a lot of playthroughs of it today so that i can get really ready so i don't look like a really bad person like i'm gonna tell you guys truth that earlier i actually um tried to do this but with my first attempt like i didn't know where anything was it didn't look really really bad i was watching back on the game content and it was super bad so i did it again which i'm doing right now and hopefully it's a bit better for you guys because i know what i'm doing this time because before oh, i was the newbiest of noobs here, click, click. Life may be over quick, awesome. quick. and we're done Despite all the Let me just stab this guy. Looks now. He's done. And there should be one more zombie around here something because the round hasn't ended. And let's go grab some extra ammo quickly. So what you want to do now, once you've got your skull and it's all done and dandy, we can just head back up here and you just place it back in here. Now, I know where three of the places are, not the fourth one, unfortunately. But I will find it, don't worry, guys. Just chill out, relax, and listen to my sexy voice. Um, I can't remember the last time I sat down and play, did a proper playthrough of zombies. Like, I think it was just extra zombies, which was, let's be honest, the crappest of the crap. Extra zombies was a pitiful excuse for a um, zombies replica. Like, I, I remember playing it and, like, the first map was all right. It was introducing you. It was like, I gave it a chance. Yeah, where's this last zombie at? Get me out of here. Oh, here he is. Let's just stab this guy. <laughs> But it was, a, it was a pitiful excuse. I, I gave it a chance in the first map. The first map got boring after about four or five times of playing it. But then um, I just gave up completely. Um, all the future Exo Zombies maps that came out, I was just like, you know what? This this is so bad. I do not want to play this anymore. I just gave up, you know? And Exo Zombies was crap. It, it, was, it was trying to be so much that what Zombies was that it became shit. Like, Zombies is it's in its own. Like... I'm going to be honest, like, Black Ops 3 Zombies is not the best zombies, like, in my opinion, I just, I'm going to take a skull pick, just in case. Eyes, skull seems to stare back but, um, Black Ops 3 Zombies is kind of going to a futuristic bit, which I'm, I'm not really enjoying, like, the guns that we have, it's just, uh, I don't really enjoy them, like, to be honest, like, who really does, um, unless you're into the, if you prefer the futuristic guns, that's cool, but, like, in my opinion, I'd probably... My favourite guns in all of Zombies will probably be the guns from World at War. And World at War were good, and Black Ops 1 were good. I like those guns. Black Ops 2, they were alright. I'm not going to lie. I did like the, um... Oh, what's it called? Is not sure I can't remember the big... Uh, the, uh, uh, I'm trying to think in my head. It, you could get it on Buried. It costs 2,000. And I'm trying to think what it's called. That's going to haunt me for ages now. Oh, uh, no. And here we go. This is basically the replica for uh, Dog Rounds. Or the replacement for Dog Rounds. And it is the spider Demon round, so what we're going to try and do is kill Nikolai everything will not be easy prey. Oh shit. Excuse my language. If, um, if you're a young kid or something and you're watching this video, make sure you um, don't repeat the words I say, otherwise you will get in trouble. A lot of trouble. And uh, if you're scared of spiders, I would not recommend watching this video because there are a lot of spiders on this, and I mean a lot. I know there's a spider boss, which I haven't actually got to yet, but... <laughs> Maybe we can get to it in this I video, I'm not going to say definitely we can. Now fully rearmed. So what we're going to do now is... There's many things that we have to do on this game. Why leave such potentially valuable item yeah, lying here? Uh, yeah, something's being delivered. Alright, let's carry on. So we're going to open this up. And then that's Even if everything, right. everything was fully good. functional, I would still find this place extremely depressing. <laughs> Nikolai's funny. But even though everything is fully functional, I would still make see this place now, depressing. Like, uh, depressing. Huh? Alright, so in this video I'm gonna try and explain things in the map itself, but I'm also gonna try and this talk about random kind of the inevitable. topic of zombies. Yo. We just glitched there for a second. But I, I want to stay on the kind of topic of zombies and maybe my YouTube channel. It depends on how long this actually survives. Like, we survived because the moment ago I did it, I survived to round 19. 
Yo. Alright, so what I was talking about is these explode here and they make you cough. And to turn the zombies into the um, Shrek lookalikes, and trust me, we're going to see the Shrek lookalikes in a second. I just need to accumulate maximum points, go through here. Now we're going to have to get in here, so I'll show you how we get in there. But I'm going to just tap because we don't want them growing back really quick. Okay, we need more points, but for now I'm just going to grab a bucket of uh, water. You guys just need to see, I'm just gonna run over here. Um, let's start with the zombies. Uh, what is your guys' favorite zombie max? Like, let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite zombie map? My, I have a, probably two, actually, mm, Okay, it's it's between Kino the Totem and Origins. Origins I loved. Origins was amazing. Kino the Totem was a really good map. Um, my highest I got actually got my highest round on Kino the Totem, which was um, sixty five, and on Origins mine was about fifty three, I believe. But it, I loved Origins because that kind of atmosphere of World War One, you know, everything. I, I'm a big kind of sucker for that kind of stuff. Um, Kino the Totem is basically where I started off, really. Like, I played the original Night and Totem on World at War and stuff. I played it, uh, I shut my pants because it was all new to me, I remember. It's basically, everybody's common stories was, oh, I was invited to, by a friend into a lobby. That was me as well, my friend Kevin. Uh, uh, Kevin Vane, he's actually in my subscription box, so please go check his video out. He, I mean, videos out, he's a really good guy, he's cool. And yeah, uh, I appreciate him because he's been my friend since primary school. But yeah, he invited me over to a Night and Totem game on the Xbox 360, which is probably one of the best consoles in the world. Uh, personally, like Xbox first. first all right, I'm, go I'm gonna steer away quickly, but very quickly. Um, on the uh, the generation that I grew up with was PS2 and Xbox. That was basically my PS2, Xbox, and um, GameCube. Those were my kind of big you know, consoles out at my time. I had a GameCube, I had an Xbox, and I had a P PS2. PS2, my favorite, out of all of it. PS2s were amazing, I loved the games on it, such as like Crash, and uh, I played a lot of Dragon Ball Z, because you know I'm an anime fan, a lot of that, and um, yeah, it was awesome, and I just went down, but don't worry about it, fuck's sake. See what happens when I start talking about random shit. I knew it was gonna go down there. Eh, it doesn't matter, it's only one down anyway. We can, um, I think, Depends on what gobble guns I've got. Let me check it in a sec. Because if I don't have my perkartic on, then I'm in trouble. Okay, I don't have my perkartic. But if we get on the house, potentially we could get a, another quick revive. What, well, a free quick revive. So what I'm going to do now is go run up here quick so we can get quick revive again. Because I'm such a scrub. But yeah, like I was saying, the PS2 was the best for me. And then going out of the Xbox 360 and the PS3, in terms of kind of friend, friendly social thing, like the Xbox 360 was the best. The, I love the Xbox 360 so much. It's part a big factor of my childhood. And who doesn't like it? If, if you've had an Xbox 360 in your lifetime and you've had Xbox 360 gold membership, you know, you know how it is. You know how it is. But yeah, Xbox 360 was the best, and I played World at War, and I got invited by uh, my friend Kevin, because I had World at War, I only just started playing campaign and stuff. Never knew anything about zombies. Zombies was uh, something at the time which was only unlocked at the end of completing campaign, and uh, I was nowhere near at, uh, completing the campaign. And by the way, World at War, one of my favourite COD campaigns of all time. Uh, A, because you can um, play 4 play on it, and it's fucking awesome. B, um, because the kind of, you know, World War II style to it, big sucker from that, I kind of like that. Um, and C, Reznov, like, who doesn't love Reznov? Reznov was an awesome guy, and he was funny. And uh, I liked how you got to play through an American man and a Russian man's perspective. So that was awesome. And then when I got exposed to Nactar and Toto in the first time I ever played Zombies, I was scared. Um, I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't know, because, um, when a new player plays zombies for the first time, it's hard because they don't understand what they are playing. And um, you think you're playing multiplayer, which is really bad because they don't die as quick as multiplayer people do. And um, if you're wondering what I'm doing right now, I need to fill both of the generators up with this stuff so that I can open this bit up over here. So, yeah, uh, I died a lot of times. Kevin was... Um, an he was above average player, so he was alright at the game. He did good. Um, 
but like at the end of the day i just had so much fun with it like i started playing it the, the big thing for me is that i would never play solo um that was kind of the one of the things which um, i was scared of because zombies back then i was about 12 11 so i was really scared about that guys quick edit right there basically what happened is i was recording and it got messed up for some reason and it started recording six seconds then stopped which was really confusing but what we were doing we were getting the uh water to power these areas uh temporarily uh both of the lab areas and then what we did is we uh these we, it allowed us to open up these doors so we're gonna actually go adventure inside and see what we're gonna do now so um we should probably go get ammo first. Yeah, that'll probably be the best thing to do. Like, 100 points there, you know, as always. But, um, there is an area in here which we're allowed to get a really good gun, which I love, which is the ICR. Now, the ICR is probably one of my favorite weapons in this game. Look at it. Look at this beast with that royal camo. I remember in Advanced Warfare when a royal camo was, like, the best camo that you could get. And now it's just, like, it's not even a rare. It's just a normal, it's just a normal camera that you can get. So what you want to do is knife these parts, because it's going to be a, um... It's going to be a part hidden in here, which will allow you to get the, um, speed cola. And speed cola is really... Speed cola? What am I talking about? Pack a punch, pack a punch, pack a punch is really good. Alright, uh, what, when we were, uh, well, uh, in the last, uh, bit, we were actually talking about COD Zombies, uh, World at War. And, um, yeah... It, Back in World at War, I did play uh, a lot with Kevin, a lot with Scared, and I was talking about how solo games can be really, really scary. Look, solo games were scary for me back when I was 11. I didn't actually start playing uh, zombies properly until we hit about 13. So by then, it was like, you know, it wasn't so scary, but I started buying all the maps when I was like 13. Because I, I got pocket money, like, sometimes. Yo, the zombie is so slow. So yeah, I started to get pocket money and stuff, so I um, I just started to buy all the maps. I started with all the World at War maps, and I started Black Ops 2 maps. I didn't actually get the um, Black Ops, all of the Black Ops 1 maps, because I started out getting the Resurrection Pack, which was all of the ones from World at War and Moon, which I thought was amazing. That was awesome back in the day, that they gave you that extra, like that, that only pack just for zombies. And I, it was phenomenal. I, I wish Black Ops 2 did something like that. Like, not the re, um, well, they could remaster the old, old ones on Black Ops 2, but, like, yo, what? What? Literally. <coughs> what? I was talking. This always happens when I talk, but never mind. We're, um, we got the part here. But we can go back and get Jug in a second anyway. Oh, I mean, uh, quick revive. But what was I saying? Yeah, I was saying that, um... I wish they did that for Black Ops 2, where they would remaster the same match for Black Ops 1 and make them all better and stuff, because they never did it. They did it for World, uh, Black Ops 1 uh, with World at War maps, which was amazing. I loved it so much. I thought it was just a genius idea. I hope with Black Ops 3 we get something similar to that, like the best kind of ones. Of I would love I'm to see... Target. I'm taking a look because I like it. I'd love to see a um, Origins remake, because Origins was amazing. Like, the Origins game, like, it doesn't even have to be, like, changed that much. Like... I like the weapons in it. I prefer the weapons because it's like nice, lovely World War II weapons. Those weapons and everything, but just the graphics change. Like, I know a lot of people will complain about that, but if you think about it, it's amazing. Like, the, the map with the weapons and shit like that, and say we can get it on next gen, next gen graphics, that would be just beautiful, wouldn't it? Like, I would buy that in a second. Like, as soon as they announce it, I'll be like getting ready, put money to the side for a month, you know, because, you know, I'm, at, I'm a college student, so i got to put money aside for, like, bus fares and stuff like that, which is really annoying, trust me, like, when you hit the age, like, I, I've only just started working, like, I don't, I'm not sure if you guys remember, but I used to work at a game, but that was a temporary job, so I had to, uh, get a new job, and that was a double, uh, headshot, but yeah, I had to get a new job, and, uh, I currently work at Next now in, uh, in, uh, the United Kingdom. So if you actually, if you're from America, you might not know, but it's basically a clothes store, store where yeah, it's pretty decent. It's all right. Uh, actually, well, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of shit. I, I'm working on women's wear. That's why I don't understand. Why would you put me in women's wear? I'm a guy. And then they're like, "Oh, go put this stuff away." I'm like, "Why would I put stuff away? I don't know where it goes. I'm not a woman. I don't know all of the terminology for this shit." 
they just expect you to know everything. And I'm like, uh, you know I what? Let's let's grab a gobble gum. See what we got. What, what gobble gum do we have? Oh, okay. That'd be pretty dope. All right. Let's see how what we get. If it's uh, on the house, we're not getting it. Oh, in plain sight. That'll be brilliant when we do the thing down over here. All right. So we go this way. <laughs> Sorry if I'm coughing a lot, I've got kind of a cough right now. So what I do is I'll come down here, and then um, basically zombies are going to spawn in, and we get trapped in, so that thing will come down here. So what we want to do is this, watch. Come out here. Right, so that's closing up, and zombies are going to jump in with us. They're going to be like, yo, let's have a party. And we don't want that. We don't want to party with the zombies, because we want to just kill them. <coughs> Uh, I just drank some water and it went down the wrong hole, so um, <laughs> yo, don't slap my dick. I mean my butt. <laughs> slap my butt. Slap my butt. <laughs> I might use that in plain sight in a second. All right, we need to get oxygen, and then we are nearly done. And that should be all of the zombies. And it actually spits out a part over here that we can grab. So let's go now. Oh shit! Zombies trying to kill me. <laughs> Alright, now we can go off and get Juggernaut. What the hell? I'm not holding the circle button down. What? And it's sliding. Oh, it's working now, I think. There we go. Ooh, Spooderman round. I call it Spooderman, you know. Spooderman? Alright, let's roll. Let's see if I can snipe one of these. Ah, goddammit. Alright, it's gonna be too hard to do that. Oh, hey, look at the spiders. They look so creepy. They're so big. Ah, it's fucking coming at me. Literally. <laughs> no, no, kids like shouldn't watch this. <laughs> too many, too many sexual jokes, man. Too many sexual jokes. <coughs> God, my cough is getting worse. Uh, what I forgot to say, mention to you guys, I'm gonna be splitting this up in half an hour episodes. I know I probably said it at the beginning, but I'll be starting this episode off at half an hour. Um, and uh. Uh, I don't know how many episodes are going to be. Um, I hopefully there will be not that many. Oh, and look, it's our bread. bread. It's our best friend. It's our bread, man. Oh yes, what a shot! Come on, guys, you got me. Come on. I want to see a light for every headshot we get. Yo, if he hits you, that's some that's some mad damage. It's just like the uh, magma damage. Holy oh, fuck! I, I thought he was dead there for a second. I didn't expect. Oh, he's got one on his leg. Oh, there's another one. How many are there of these guys? Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go like this. Oh, I got a pop. That's awesome. Alright, let's just get rid of all, most of the zombies quick because zombies are annoying in this game and they will do anything to come and try and touch you. Because for some reason zombies like touching you in this game. Like, why are they so hostile towards you? Like, do you think any of the crew have actually been beaten before? Like, if they've been bitten, shouldn't they turn into a zombie? If not, actually, I don't really get it in this game. How do they even... I know they create the zombies, but, like, if you get bitten or eaten by one, you become a zombie in yourself. It's never explained. Not in this game, at least. <laughs> I bet someone's going to be in the comments like, Oh, yeah, duh, they do. You know what? Oh, I'm done. Oh, crap. I thought he was going to hit them. <laughs> Alright, I've exploded him. He's all over the ground now. Right, oh god, he's so... Uh, I hate these ones. Alright, there we go, you're dead. Yo, snipe! Oh. How many did that kill? Okay. Ah, <laughs> this is amazing now. Snipe. I like the Locust, because it is a very powerful sniper, but the Dracon's gonna be the best. Dracon, 100% of the way. He, if you don't agree with that, then you should go eat your doo-doo, because it's a good weapon, the Dracon. I'm not sure about in this map though because you're constantly training. Actually, no, I think in this map it will be useful. Let me just buy ammo for this and we can go get the uh, part to open up the pack punch. This is a this has been a nice video. I, I feel really calm. Like I haven't done anything like this in this a very long time. Oh, we could probably do that. Uh, let me go get the part for the pack punch. Going there. But I feel I haven't really sat down and made a video like this before. I know I sound like I'm repeating myself, but. It just feels so nice and relaxed to just to sit down and talk to you guys. Like, I have college tomorrow, so I just want to kind of relax. Oh, here's the other bit here. I forgot about that. Oh, God, and the zip finds there as well. Okay. We have multiple skulls to do. But we need to get that 
that's the, not the pack punch, the, um, that, what's it called, part, yeah, the pack punch part, okay, so this, no, it's not in that, it must be over here, yeah, it must be, wait, did I open that door over there, yeah, it's open, it's gotta be this way, yep, it's this way, I don't, no, it's not this way, ignore me, I am silly, Ooh. Anyway, guys, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the intro at the, I mean, the outro at the end of this video. I really would appreciate you guys supporting it and, like, let me know how you feel about it because it's taken me a phenomenal amount of time to make. Like, that's the problem with making outros is that you need to get the music specifically. Like, you can't just have one long outro, otherwise people are not going to be interested anymore. My outro was actually, um, it's a 16 seconds long which i hope is good like i hope you guys enjoy it it's it's a very good one well in my opinion it is i feel like i'm running around in circles again i shouldn't be doing this this is crap for the video but at least you're saying at least you guys are kind of seeing the um this part of the map which is awesome did we just go in there uh, please tell me we didn't go in there no we haven't all right so the next part we want to go in it's actually down this way, and I'm pretty sure it's here. Here it is. All right. Let's see if we can get this done before. So you got to do is uh, dive in. You want to keep swimming around, swimming, swimming, swimming. Make sure to go up for oxygen when you can, otherwise you will die. And you try. You kind of want to find a wheel, right? A wheel that can help you. And here it is. It's always in different places. So you want to swim all the way back now. Uh, make sure you don't get attacked by the zombie. Just run away from him. Right, cool. Now we can actually drain up the bit for the pack a punch room. Okay, let's go. Du -du 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 -du. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Back in here. And then we'll probably go off and get the skulls and then do those. Because that would be pretty awesome if we could do that. Right, we'll drain the water first. Right, I think we have to go around this side. Of thing, water, so. We have to gain access to the right, drain the water. Here we go, here's a sweet mother trucking pack of punch. Oh, look at the little fish. Oh, and it's gone. Wow. Well done, Treyarch. You make these awesome graphics for us, and then you're just like a little tiny fish. It's just gone. Yo, I didn't check um, the mark. The, uh, the the markings for the skull. I did not check. And now that makes me ultra scrub. So everybody in the comments put Lieutenant Bullfrog ultra scrub because, oh, you're my scrub. I'd be surprised if you even got to this part of the video because it's a very long video, you know, half an hour. Like, I just do it so people can just chill out and just, you know, so it's a free 2 one. Um, they can just chill out and just watch. Uh, I, I would highly suggest you do some, like, work, homework or something. You just listen to the voice. All in the voice, my Patrick, all in the voice. Zombies. Oh, man, I love zombies so much. I, I can't wait for the next, um,. The next DLC, like people are saying, it's like set in Russia, Starling, uh, Starling Draft or something like that. Um, because obviously in this Easter egg, they they believe like everybody. I've been listening to a lot of people like Mr. Glopperoffy. They believe Easter egg is going to involve killing Takio because you have to kill every single of the original four for some reason. If you saw the um, Dirt Eyes and Drag Easter egg, you saw that uh, you had to kill Dempsey at the end, and uh, Retoffin already killed his counterpart. All right, so three, two, one. I am forgetting again. We have been here too long already. Yes, yes, we have been here too long. We're talking, but yeah. So uh, we believe. Um, last time, what I like is I'm not an Easter egg guy. I'm not an Easter egg guy. I will not do the Easter egg. It takes too long, and normally you need four people. It's really hard to do with one person. Uh, that's why I don't really go search for it. It. Uh, you should have saw me when I first started playing this game, like this. Uh, uh Zetsuguru no Shima. Uh, I fucked up a lot. I couldn't find anything. It's really hard to do. Whew. But, you know, that's the thing about zombies is that doing easter eggs for a very new person is very, very hard. You've got to be hardcore, like, super, like, scopey and everything. There we go. Let's do it. If we ever get red-hearted, then we can just use the, um, uh, in plain sight that we have. I, I always have in plain sight on as a perk because it's very useful. Don't hit me. Like, bitch is trying to spit acid at me. Not assets, uh, webs. Alright, we're gonna keep all the zombies off as quickly as possible. Lucky, this is my favourite zombie, I see. Not only just because of the camo, but just because, oh, it's just so sexy with headshots. Like, just look at it. Would you just look at it? And these spiders are trying to. Oh my god. Alright, we're done now. Let's see 
how he likes a Kamehameha. 